All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. I've got um, a pretty easy little word problem here. Uh, it's kind of a take on a couple of other word problems that I've had in the past. Um, you see these on the internet a lot. You know, I bought a cow for this much, or I bought a horse for this much. Well, we're going to change it up and we're going to do it. We're going to buy and sell an elephant today. It's really the same type of problem, but um, I'd like to go through another example of this uh, again, and um, you know, hopefully f for anybody who's who's puzzled on that, um, because I still get a lot of comments, especially on the uh, the, the YouTube channel here, uh, I, and I don't know if it's because people don't watch the videos and then they just comment, um, and sometimes they like to argue, but uh, a different answer. But um, the the process they go through the the critical thought process is kind of lacking on their part when they go through. Um, you know, I don't mind somebody who's confused and has a question, but, um, you know, oftentimes people like to get belligerent online and they want to be correct even when they're not, but um, it happens. You know, it just happens. Um, but anyhow, this this problem is, is fairly simple. It's, um, it says, I bought an elephant for $700. I sold the elephant for $1,000. I bought the elephant again for $1,200, and I sold the elephant again for $1,700. How much was earned? Um, and then right off the bat, I will um, I'll make a comment uh, about earnings. Um, you know, earnings is simply revenue minus cost or minus expenses. Uh, the revenue would be the money that comes in. The cost would be the money going out or your expenses, you could call it. Um, and in this problem, it's it's really simple. We don't know anything about how much he might have paid to board this elephant. He might just have been a trader. He might not actually have been boarding the elephant. He His job might have just been to perform the buying and selling, and maybe he wasn't responsible for the upkeep, you know. So we don't know any of that stuff. We don't know the taxes, the feed, the transportation costs. So all that stuff, you know, just goes out the window um, on this problem. And uh, the question is, how much was earned? And when we say earn, we don't mean, you know, was he worthy of this elephant or anything like that? Um, like, you know, Susie earned a promotion. That's a different, a different uh, definition for earn. Earn has different meanings. Um, so anyhow, uh, the thing you want to zero in on in this problem, first of all, is that you bought the elephant twice, you sold it twice. So there's a buy and a sell, and then a buy and a sell. So you want to focus in on these uh, sections here. What you know? What are the what are the things that we know happen? Well, we know he bought it for seven hundred, sold it for a thousand. We know we bought it for twelve hundred. We in, and sold it for seventeen hundred. And you can treat these separately as if they were you know, and they were two separate sets of transactions. It makes no difference that it was the same elephant. Um, you know, one thing you can do is recognize the fact that he bought for 700 here, he bought for 1200 here. So this is money that's outgoing. This is money that he's spending. Uh, money that's coming in, or the revenue, would be your thousand because he sold for a thousand. He sold for 1700 here. So as we're going through this, there's a there's a couple of approaches that you could take. Um, you know, one of these approaches here is say, uh, well, let's add up all the money that he spent, okay? Again, we know he spent $700 here. Uh, and the second time, he spent $1,200. So he spent a total of $1,900. Um, we have no idea how much money he had to start with, or she, um, you know, he or she. We have no idea. We don't even know if it was a he, she, anything. We just know that this person spent $1,900. We don't know how much money they have uh, to start with. The problem does not tell us that. Um, now, as far as the revenue that came in, that's the $1,000 plus the $1,700. So $1,000 plus $1,700 would be $2,700. So then your earnings is, again, your revenue minus what was spent or the, you know, the expenses here. Uh, which is 2700 minus 1900 or $800. So the earnings would be $800. Uh, another way you could look at this would be just to look at each of the buy and sell transactions separately, which is another easy way to look at it and then add them up. Uh, you can see here that he sold the elephant for 1000 and he bought it here at 700 
So what's the difference between those? Well, 1,000 minus 700 is $300. So if he had he done nothing else and just bought and sold it that first time, he would have made $300. Uh, but he bought and sold it again, and he did go out and he he spent $1,200 the next time. So we, you know, and people will often ask, well, well, where did he get that $1,200? He he just spent $200 more than what he sold it for the last time. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, do you go to the grocery store several times in a month? Um, we don't we don't worry about where that's you get a paycheck, right? You get money. Um, this that's ir ir irrelevant here that he spent the extra 200. He obviously had enough money to buy it a second time for 1200. So I'm not sure what the concern is there. Um, all you need to care about is that he sold it for 1700. He had bought it for 1200. And what's the difference? The difference is $500. So that second time that he bought and sold, he gained an additional $500. Um, so if you add those two numbers up, you end up with $800. So very, very simple. Now, um, you could say that, well, had he not, had he bought the elephant for $700 and then sold it for $1,700, let's say, pretend that this middle sell and buy never occurred okay well, we're just going to say he bought for 700 sold it for 1700 well he would have made a thousand dollars but remember when he bought the elephant the second time he did have to shell out the extra 200 dollars out of his own money wherever that was could have been sewn in his mattress we don't know we don't care so instead of making the thousand dollars, he only made eight hundred. So I think one of the things that people forget is that that two hundred dollars that he had to come up with um, is already accounted for. It's accounted for in the eight hundred dollars because he could have bought it for seven hundred, sold it for seventeen hundred, and he would have made a thousand. But that's not what happened. And uh, here, here we have a check register which um, we. Could put any balance in here we wanted to just for an example um, this is a good way to work through the problem you know here i've assumed he has a thousand dollars to start with um, and he buys the elephant for seven hundred dollars leaving him with uh, three hundred uh, then when he sells the elephant to farmer tom he has a credit of a thousand dollars that gives him a balance here of thirteen hundred dollars right here thirteen hundred um, he buys the elephant again for 1200 so 1300 minus 1200 is 100 So he has a $100 balance left in the checking account. And then finally, he sells the elephant to Farmer John for $1,700. Uh, so when he has gets that credit and deposits it, it's $1,800 in the balance. So you can tell from this example that he went from a $1,000 balance to an $1,800 balance. Well, that's an earnings of $800. Uh, and no matter what I put in here, I could put $10,000 for my starting balance. Then he would have $10,800. I could put a million dollars in here for the starting balance, and he'd have a million dollars and eight hundred. So that's that's how that works. The starting amount is irrelevant here. You know, as long as he had enough money to buy the elephant, uh, we don't really care about anything else. So I hope this video has been helpful, and uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment and we'll see you guys in the next video.